is a modern Rally 1 WRC car faster than an old school Group B monster. Yes, Group B, the time of 400, 500 horsepower, flame spitting, turbocharged monsters. Driven by some of the most legendary rally drivers ever to grace the planet. We're talking Audi Quattros, we're talking Lancia Deltas, Peugeot 205 T16s, insane cars. And it's taken all the way until pretty much now for cars to have similar horsepower Yet again, modern Rally 1 machinery complete with hybrid makes about 500 brake horsepower and has insane aero as well. My gosh, that's a big wang. Now, five years ago, five whole years ago, I took an Audi S1 E2 Quattro around the Nordschleife in sim to see how fast I could lap and I ended up doing a 7 minutes 20 lap time. I'm sure you can guess what I'm going to do today. So this right here is the 2022 Rally 1 Toyota Yaris, as driven, of course, by a uh, rally superstar, Kali Rovampera. Yeah, this thing's pretty damn serious. We're talking, again, about 500 horsepower with the hybrid. Weighs, I think, just over 1250 kg. Four-wheel drive, a million differentials, all the bells and whistles of a modern rally machine. Now, I've loaded down a little bit, bolted on some semi-slick tyres, and we're going to see just what it's like to handle around a circuit this is not where this car is designed for this car is designed to go through country roads but anyway let's see how it drives <laughs> This car is one of those really cool, like on wheel, single paddle, sequential things, but we haven't got that here. We've got the big stick, so into first gear we go. Fill the revs. As you can see, it's pretty rapid. Just getting, getting going. Acceleration is a big, big strength of this car, as well as the ability to just do stuff like that. Whatever you want, you can really throw this car around. And to be honest, through these slow corners, it feels vastly superior to the Group B car that I drove a long time ago now. But you're about to see the big weakness of this car compared to that Group B car. Now, watch my uh, speedo there. The fifth gear, no more gears. 200 kph. That's our top speed. That's how fast these cars are limited to in uh, in real life. So. If you're familiar with a Nürburgring and the layout of a circuit, that's going to be a big problem for us. So to try and beat that Group B car, we're going to have to really make the most of the strength of this car, throwing it through the corners and getting it stopped quickly. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of pain. Again, to demonstrate that pain, one of the first straights we come across. And even before we get up through paths, we're already just banging the limiter. So not ideal at all. Give me more! This is nothing. So, get used to this sound. See, we can. I can brake a lot later than that. This thing has amazing brakes and definitely not as stiffly sprung as a purposeful race car. You can see we can get all over the curves and the car just does not care. It's actually quite refreshing around here just to have a car that's uh, able to do that. I just wish I had a few more mile per hour. We're, we're just hemorrhaging time doing that down the straights. Through the foxhole, through the kerb, down, and now fourth. You can just see, you can just do the stuff like this. <laughs> I think that's the fastest way through there, but you can get all over those curbs. The car just loves it. Hi, Rebel Tree, bro. Good to see you, man. It's been a little while. Can I have record here? Whoa, <laughs> it's not the fast way of doing it, but I feel cool. I mean, this is what rally cars are made for, right? Just getting those tyres warm is what it is. It's my duty as a racing driver to warm the tyres carefully. Can you miss it, miss? Or about slide, slide, slide? Oh, too much, too much, too much! <laughs> it's a blast to drive this thing! It just feels so much more, for lack of a better term, just a lot more efficient than a Group B car is. I mean, obviously, right? Of course it's going to be, but... It just feels like you can really place this car wherever you want. 
But I've got to stop. Get, I've got to get out of the habit of using that handbrake. It's very fun. But it's probably not going to be the fastest way through the corner. For all that time we're sideways, we're spinning the tire, we're not moving forward. All our energy is going in the wrong direction. All that energy to go forward. Wish I had DRS to that massive wing behind us is not going to be helping for drag. But to be honest, at this point, it doesn't matter. Whoa. I might try that in the 330i next time we're out of Bilstein. See if it, see if I survive or not. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. Hedrick just got the time to set the old phone up here. Yeah, why not? Lifetime emails, all good. Lots of emails. It's just a bit sad up the hills, you know. But luckily, we're getting to the point now where I think this car. It's going to excel over the Group B car. I think so anyway, because the way this thing changes direction is just next level. So right, Brand brake late. Just a touch of the handbrake to start some rotation. Third gear now up towards the carousel. Brake hard, down the third gear. Tuck her in. Accelerate out. We can just get on the curb if you want to. doesn't matter. The curbs aren't these big dangerous things in this car. It's almost, it's part of the racing service. Let's just do this. I loves it. Oh, I might be a bit too fast into that. Got an experiment, you know, for the fast lap coming up. Should probably try and cool the tires down a bit for my actual lap. But you guys are getting an idea of what this thing's about. It's it's confidence to spire in this car. We're just lacking that top end. So the real question is. Will that difference in handling be enough for us to beat 7 minutes 20 rounds here in the old Group B Audi Quattro S1? Let's find out. Right, I have no idea what to expect here, but I would love to try and beat that Group B car as much as I love it. Anyway, T1, we can break fairly late here. I want to try not to rely on that handbrake as much. In fact, just use the fact that this car is just super agile and it feels like it can turn on a bit of a sixpence. We're a bit soft compared to a full-blown race car, but that's quite nice around here. It means we can really abuse those curves, which I intend to do fully. So, down the fourth gear, third gear, right up on that curve there. Drags us round nicely. Cut this one. Two balls in the white line, right? I've got to drive like a rally driver, there's no point driving at all. Oh, this thing is just awesome. Just bricks up, even on these semi slick tyres. We're still able to put that power down coming out of these tight corners. But now, here comes the suffering to sitting on this rev limiter all the way through. I can't think how much time we're losing on this. I know the from memory, that Group B car is probably at about 60, 70 kilometres an hour down the straight on this. You could gear that car nice and long. However, here we're stuck at 200 kph, banging off the rev limiter, Halford's car park style. Just feels like an eternity, this, but... Now coming up to a point where we may be able to bring a little bit of time back. Breaking down the RM Berg. Should have braked a bit later there, actually. I was a bit um, caught out by how slow I was going, frankly. And towards the foxhole now, again, already up to VMAX. Gonna have to just get creative, I think, down here with some of the lines. Little lift through here, and then. Down the fourth gear. Don't really want to slide the car too much through here. Up on that curb. Nice. Good exit. That was nice and neat and tidy up there. That's what we want to see. Now, double left hander. This car's got quite a bit of aero, so we can carry quite a bit of speed for it. During the KPH, I mean, I know it's not a, a nice top speed, but it's pretty quick to be going through corners. It's about 120 mile an hour or so, I think, if you're that way inclined so tempted just to pull that handbrake but you can see you can actually just do it on the on the brakes itself the car wants to rotate it wants to turn it wants to slide it's what it's designed for even on this stiffer tarmac setup just hit miss i actually did what i was meant to do for a change i never do that i usually just miss 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 but a big breakdown here handbrake is actually kind of useful here actually just a small tuck of the handbrake just to get the car around just to get it turned up to fifth gear now, down towards that now. Breaking downhill, let the car rotate a bit. Try and catch up the throttle. Could have been a bit faster through there, didn't quite maximise that. A 
bit of a slide uphill, just got a little bit too far away from the camber. The corner there is cambered outwards, so you want to be as close to the apex as possible when come in the corner and let the car just pull out naturally. And it was Bergwerk now. Right, and the that was nice, just in the wrong gear there, but it's okay. We've got a lot of torque in this uh, Rally 1 car, about, about 500 newton metres of torque. Torque, of course, everything in Rally. Now again, the suffering, suffering begins again. My favourite. We're just losing so much time compared to the other cars around here. I mean, if we get anywhere near that Group B time, it'll be just, frankly, I think a bit of a miracle. As I said before, we're getting to the section where we might be able to claw some of that time back. So maximum commitment needed through this last section. A little bit wide there. Just got the brakes a bit wrong. Ah, oh, that was slow, Jimmy. Yes, silly boy. Down into the carousel. Very well lit carousel, I must say. Up top. Don't worry about it. Keep your foot in it. It's a rally car. Takes it. Doesn't care. These things are tanked, right? So here's where now it's time to get a bit creative, I think. Don't worry about that. You didn't see anything. So I did it like on the last time. At least I'm consistent, right? <laughs> I just want this car to do well, all right? I'm determined. Bring it in. Get on that grass. Nice. Weapon challenge completed. Just trying to use as much of the circuit and of the grass as possible, frankly. Good grip on the grass in these tyres, even with the semi slip, so we're going to use it. Go, 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 go. Ice curve now. Come on, fourth gear. Fourth gear MVP. Now over the little jump. Oh, we didn't even catch air over there. The aero there sticking us to the floor. We weren't going massively fast, but still getting pressed to the floor by that massive wing and the aero. Oh, I forget, I keep forgetting we've got no more gears. I keep wanting that stiff gear. Six minutes currently on the clock, a minute 20 to get to the, the start finish. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. We'll give it our best shot. Oh, no, Jimmy, where you going? It's all right, it's all right. I had no doubt that for that last section that we absolutely handed it to the Group B car, but it doesn't matter now because this is where we're going to lose a ton of time compared to that car. We've got 50 seconds now to get to the start-finish line, and we've got this massive straight ahead of us, and we're already, we're already there at Jordan and KPH. Come on, give me more kills! Watching that time fall away. 30 seconds. It's not going to do it. Toyota, why did you make the gear in so narrow? Oh, I guess WRC. 15 seconds. 10. It's not going to do it. The Group B fanboys were right. I can't believe it. There, 7 minutes 20. So now it's how much have we been defeated by... Get rally cars, go. And the time, a seven minute 34. 14 seconds slower than a Group B car. Oh man. 14 seconds. Now, this comes with a massive caveat, all right, because I truly believe that with the right gearing, this car would have destroyed the Group B car. But this is what the car is. This is how it works in real life. It's how it's going to work in sim. And unfortunately, it's not enough to beat a Group B car. So to answer the question, can a modern Rally 1 WRC car beat a Group B Rally car at the Nordschleife? No. No, it can't. 
So not the result I expected, I have to admit, but really awesome fun to go and try. As always, I'll put a link for this mod down below in the description if you want to try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all for the next one.